But anyway, a couple of notes here today. News programming once again dominated the ratings on Wednesday night. As I expected, it, I wouldn't say desperately affected AEW, but AEW on TNT, 730,000 viewers down 11.7% from the week prior. 18 to 49, however, as is always the case when there is strong news competition, they got smashed, dropped all the way to 27th on cable with a 0.29 rating down 9.4% from last week. NXT only down 2.2% in viewership, averaging 715,000 viewers for the go-home show for In Your House. Best number for the show since March 4th, 18 to 49 NXT up 5.3% from last week, averaging a 0.2 rating. So as I've mentioned a thousand times, when there's strong mainstream news competition, speeches, etc., debates, it always affects AEW more significantly than it does NXT. The only thing that we've seen really affect NXT has actually been NASCAR, of all things. So the combined audience, even though the Dynamite number was down, and even though AEW was, or sorry, yeah, even though the NXT number was only slightly up, 1.445 million viewers, which is considerably higher than it has been most weeks in the closed set era. So it is looking like the addition of fans to NXT, the addition of fans to SmackDown, I guess people getting sick of coronavirus news at least. I mean, we're slowly starting to get back to where we were before everything got shut down, with the exception of Raw. And Raw, the last two weeks, I would say there were extenuating circumstances. There was Memorial Day. And then, of course, the news coverage on Monday night just destroyed Raw. I mean, Raw, even when its numbers are near all-time lows, they're usually like 1, 2, and 3 and 18 to 49, 1, 2, and 4, or something like that. They were way down in 18 to 49. I, I, they, they were largely out of the top 10, if I recall correctly, because everybody was watching the news. So we'll find out. I guess this Monday, if Raw is also creeping back to normal, or if it ends up being the one show that took a hit and is not going to recover. Any thoughts on any of this, Jim? And also your thoughts on Drake Maverick. A couple of things. One, I think with the news coverage being so popular, I think now there's really only one choice to get the Raw ratings back up, and that's to have uh, your new 24-7 champion be Rachel Maddow. Wouldn't that be great? She and our truth running around doing all that. No, I'm I'm skeptical you're going to see that one. <laughs> Anderson Cooper, would that be better? I'm anyway. skeptical you're going to see any of these. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, I think it's good news. I mean, both you and I were really worried as far as what these mean for uh, the the gap that we're seeing as far as fans and attendance and uh, all the interest in other places, but. I think the fact that it it appears to be given by we've seen other spikes and higher points in the ratings uh, in prior weeks that this just appears to be a phase, which I think is good news and a sense of relief. I know for me and probably anybody who follows the business of professional wrestling, um, as far as Drake Maverick, I find it to be very conflicting. On one hand, you know, you're happy that he was able to, for lack of a better term, work his way back into a job. Uh, you certainly don't want to see people out of work, particularly in these very difficult times. So so good for him. Um, on the other hand, this sounds like a storyline that Mr. Burns from The Simpsons would think was entertaining to hold the guy's real life job over his head and think the fans who watch this would would find this to be entertaining and not kind of shocking and kind of draw their own personal experience into this while they're watching it on television. Uh, I'm also surprised that the uh, narrative coming out of WWE that is is uh, that it wasn't Drake's Maverick's idea the whole time, because that's usually what it is. Anytime there's a tasteless storyline, it's always that wrestler's idea for some reason. It's remarkable how that happens, but it didn't happen in this case. It sounds like it was just the left hand didn't know what the right hand was doing. And in this case, it all worked out for the best. So as conflicted as I am, I guess... All's well that ends well, and I'll give everybody the benefit of the doubt this time.